Hello everyone. Happy, well it's Saturday now. I don't know what day it will be. I'm thinking it will be Tuesday. So happy Tuesday. Fingers crossed when this video gets I don't, I don't know what's happening there. When this video gets uploaded, um, I hope you guys enjoy it. This is going to be a full eyebrow. Let's zoom. Ooh, you guys see what the. I have a mirror right here and it's like. Um, a full eyebrow. I'll zoom in. Um,. Like how to, how I tweeze, razor. What else do I do to them? Um, trim, like trim. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much all I do to them. And then also how I fill them in. Um, so as you guys can see, this is just like a natural fill in. I did not like carve them out today this is not a super glam day um i'm actually just running out to um meet up with my cousin for dinner so this is not a glammed up day um so yeah so i just wanted to do like a how to um video i've been doing my own eyebrows since i was 13 um and i've never let anyone else um touch my eyebrows i have a very pronounced arch as you guys can see um and it goes very like ooh, ooh. so i um i prefer just to do them myself i don't like to entrust them to anyone so um trust issues anyone <laughs> I'm so funny. I make myself laugh. Oh my gosh. Speaking of, just a quick side note. I watched Joker last night and holy mackerel balls. If you guys have not watched that movie, so good. So, so, so good. Go watch. And this lipstick, by the way, is Bite, um, Bite Honeycomb and Sugar Cane. Mix those two together. Primo. Um, but yeah, that movie is amazing. Um, before this intro gets any longer, stick around if you want to see how I do these brows. Um, and yeah, so let's jump right in. Bye! So I have you guys zoomed in pretty close just so you guys can see. So the first thing I have is a very filthy, obviously, sorry. I didn't realize this was such a dirty spoolie. Um, and I just comb up all the hairs. The first thing I'll do is after I have them brushed up, I'll take a pair of scissors like, sorry, I'm trying to get my camera to focus. Kind of like this. They're just little eye, I think they're eyebrow trimming scissors. Um, and these are old. I wish I could remember where I bought them from, but I cannot. And then sometimes I'll brush them in this direction to really um, see what hairs I need to cut. And I am doing this in a viewfinder, which is 
very scary. But for the sake of YouTube, I will do this in a viewfinder. Okay. Now I'll grab a mirror. Try not to blind you guys. And check. Okay. So now I'll brush the hairs in this direction. Trimming of any sort. or tweezing of any sort, three weeks of no razoring. That's a very, very long time. So after I cut the hairs in this direction and this direction, then I'll brush all the hairs in a downward direction is just like, Looks like little stragglers, like that, and you can see them on the scissors there. And then also, if there's any crazy looking things right here, like along the ends, like those are looking a little nuts. Then I'll cut those. Then the next thing I'll do is take my little tweezer here and I will start to tug on the skin gently. Nothing too serious. We don't want to make wrinkles. And I'll start to pull all of the bigger hairs that I can get with the tweezer. And then whatever is too fine that you can't get a grip on with the tweezers, we'll take care of that with a razoring method. If you guys get a super stubborn one, you can always grab it at the very root, tug, and then pull forward in the opposite direction and then it will come out. Okay, so trimming and tweezing is all done on this side. And I've always had like a very strange arch on the side. My arch is a lot more perfected here. Um, but yeah, it just grows in a lot weirder on that side. Pull up slightly. Don't put a lot of pressure. Especially if you guys are new to shaving your face. Um, you don't need a lot of pressure. Make sure your face is clean too. Do not do this on a dirty face. My skin gets so red so fast. And then we'll do this eyebrow. So right above this part, like at the very front, I go downward. And then what I'll start to do is pull this way and go to the side too and down. And then for above here, I take the razor and go up because my hair grows downward. And I get as close to the eyebrow as I can. All right, and then for the end of the eyebrow here, 
little hairs that were too fine for my tweezer. And then for underneath the eyebrow, once again, I'll brush all the hairs up to make sure I don't get any hairs I want to leave. And then I'll pull the skin up and just to make sure I get all the little tiny hairs that my tweezer missed. I'll go underneath. So I need to do the same to this brow, guys. Then I'm going to let the redness calm down a little bit. And I'll show you really briefly just how I fill in the sparse areas on an everyday um, basis. So not for like a glam a uh, brow but just you know how I fill in like these little um you know bald spots so I shall be back okay guys so the redness has died down a little bit and we'll just do a quick little fill in Nothing fancy here. All right. And I'm using um, it's Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. Slim in soft brown. And I know my hair is super dark, yes. So do not tell me it's my wrong shade. I do not like using dark brown or anything darker than that because it actually ends up coming off way too harsh soft brown ends up being the perfect shade for me so probably gonna start with this one um, just to show you how I fill in that um, bald spot in my arch that's super annoying and how I make it match the sister eyebrow. I first of all apply very little pressure. That way if I do mess up, I can very easily fix it. So what I start doing is making, once I make that line there, I start making very, very soft strokes. Push them down. I don't want a real straight line on top today because we're not doing a super Instagram brow look. So I'm just going to draw a few little hair like strokes on top. And then I'll keep. Filling in from the bottom here. And when I get to that spot, I start to go in a downward direction because that's the way my arch would naturally grow in. And you can see just with like two little 
strokes it's almost completely gone top there again very lightly on top very lightly towards the ends start to brush everything in And I don't, you can see I don't take the hair like strokes all the way to the top of the hair because then when I brush up with the little spoolie, if they were all the way to the top when I brush them, the um, color would end up all the way like up here. So I only put the color about halfway that way when I brush up, the color ends up to the top of the eyebrow. So you guys can see there the difference between the one that's filled in and the one that's not still ended up going above. Okay. So now all that's missing is some eyebrow gel. So I will finish this guy up and be right back. So now this one is all filled in, a um, Anastasia one, because I'm actually almost out of this one. So I'll let you know if I like the Anastasia one better. Um, it's always so nice to sit and chat and do something magical with you guys, such as eyebrows. And, um, yeah. I am so exhausted. I look so exhausted. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Saturdays are exhausting sometimes, guys. The cleaning, the laundry. It's like more work than actual work. But yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. As always, I love you and you are beautiful inside and out. Mm.